Hi, I'm Dan with Campers and RV. Today we're going to talk about how to dewinterize your RV. In this video, we're going to talk about washing and waxing your RV to protect it. The steps to washing and waxing our RV. First, we're going to go ahead and get our wash bucket with our soap in it. We're going to hand wash the whole exterior. And while we're washing, we're going to make sure we get all the grime. And we're going to check all our sealants on the exterior of the body while we're doing this. Then after we wash it, we're going to go ahead and dry it off. And we're going to come back with some wax and we're going to hand wax the whole unit to ensure proper UV protection from the sun. Consequences to not washing and waxing your RV could be mold building up on the exterior of the body. And also without waxing the RV, you could run into a chemical UV breakdown from the sun with your clear coat peeling off. It's bad when the clear coat peels off. We have no protective finish on the exterior. So we wanna make sure we put a good coat of wax on there to make sure our paint is in top shape and shining away. So without waxing your RV's body, you may run into clear coat or UV breakdown where it flakes off the body, where your paint will keep stripping back and you'll have to bring to a body shop to have your paint repainted and repaired. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has given you clarity on how to dewinterize your RV. At Campers in RV, we pride ourselves in being the RVer's trusted resource. We also have a website and blog full of information for you to research and make the most of your RV lifestyle. I encourage you to check it out at this link below. Thank you for watching and choosing Campers in RV.